Oh, good morning everyone and welcome back to the garage which is now for the most part a hoarder's cave of seats and upholstery and car parts. So if you'll, if you'll come along with me we'll dance our way through this maze labyrinth of upholstery and stored stuff and hopefully one day I'll go back at this car and get to doing some work today. It's a beautiful February day still chilly but it's supposed to be in the 50s today so that'll do now I went ahead and we got the body actually set down on the frame the way it's going to be sitting so it's actually down which is fantastic I'm super excited about it I got so excited actually I went ahead and put some of the dash in nothing screwed in like I'm really happy at how good this dash looks in this car look at that we were able to maintain the full vent for the passenger side, which is awesome. A little bit of extra nub in there cut, but we'll fill that back in. Dash is all down and laid in. A little extra trimming and cutting, but I'm telling you, it fits basically exactly the same way the 48's dash did as far as how it sticks out. And the steering wheel is a, exactly one quarter of an inch farther forward, but I think that's probably okay. All my under panels. Got to keep the glove box, and here it is set down on the floor. And my nice channel job here. Well, so now, what we're going to do today, after celebrating this, and it's been raining a couple of days, so couldn't get out here really. It's not good to weld in the wet. We're going to take some of this angle, and this isn't the only thing that's going to hold the body, obviously, but I wanted to go ahead and put these one foot angle iron supports against the frame here. Well, it'd be like this. But underneath the floor, just to give it a little more rigidity. And I'll put one here, there, back here, and over there. So that there's just something else for the floor to kind of bite onto on this part of the floor that's left to bite onto to keep, take some of this play out. It's going to be pretty stable. And I'm pretty happy about it. But, uh, I wanted to go ahead and get these welded in and then I can start putting the floor back in here and get that cut and bent and all that good stuff. And I got a whole bunch of parts that are supposed to come today so that'll be very exciting. A bunch of uh, floor sound deadening and seam sealers and several different types of uh, fuel filler so that I can hopefully figure out some way to run it all the way back to here. See the X? You can barely see the X right there. That's where the fuel filler needs to come out or go to so that I can actually run it through the stock fuel door, which would just be amazing. Because I really I am doing everything I can to keep this tank in the current location so that I don't have to find another tank. I want to keep everything stock. And so far, so good as far as the electrical and fuel system and cooling and all. Fingers crossed we keep it up. But look how great that dash fits. I mean, it looks fantastic in there. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, without any more talking and yammering on, let me go ahead and get this set up right here so that I can start welding it in. a thing. Glasses keep fogging up. It's always fun. The joy of a mask. Awesome. Well, let me get set up and then we'll do some welding and see how this is going to work. Now 
Nailed it. Got it. getting some penetration. How many people caught that? Turned it the wrong way.
might have to cut these smaller. I really like that being in between the seats. You know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty nice. We gotta cut about that much off. Why don't you get this other helmet and keep an eye on sparks? Okay. Make sure that if I'm shooting a lot on the tank, you tell me to stop. Bam, son. All right. I'd say that's good enough. Fighting that raggedy edge of how much I'm willing to do versus how much I think is a good idea. <laughs> So far, so good. We haven't exploded yet. stopped feeding again and my initial thought was something to do with the c-clamp however that's working flawlessly and providing excellent pressure uh, it turns out the hub has gotten kind of worn out I guess from unspooling and you can see down in here this is mostly plastic from the inside of the hub ribbon on this and before you say anything it was not too tight this is not too tight so it wasn't, it was, it's just not designed for this heavy welding. So, you know, this is the only welder I got. So I went ahead and took it apart, took the spool off, and just put a bunch of uh, wheel bearing grease in there. And uh, it seems to be feeding now. So that's good. That'll do. Yeah, that's doing good. So we're good. Once again, I don't know how many times you have to grease your welder, but apparently that's a thing now. So. Anyway, back to it. <laughs> 